Hey folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business. Glad you come along with us on another video adventure into the land of QuickBooks Point of Sale. Wonderful. First, I'm going to mention, jump on over to blackrockbusiness.com and we will fulfill all your needs for point of sale in QuickBooks as well as tutorials, downloads, hardware, whatever you need, jump on over to blackrockbusiness.com. You may even end up speaking to me. Wonderful. Okay. Let's get into it here. Today we are talking about QuickBooks point of sale and making a sale. So there are plenty of ways to get to the make a sale screen. Uh, obviously making a sale to your customers, fulfilling their needs and selling your goods is the most important thing when it comes to a point of sale. So you can go to make a sale here, make a sale here. I want to make a sale. Uh, you go to make a new sales receipt, same thing. Let's just get into that screen. There's so many ways to get here because it is the most important screen here's whole point of sale. Okay, so first, when you are checking out a customer, uh, you're probably gonna have price tags on your products. And hopefully you have a barcode scanner because if you don't, you're gonna waste a lot of time. But really, you're just gonna put your cursor right in this field here and you're gonna scan the products as you would at any store. All right, so you're gonna scan all your products it's going to add them to your new receipt here. You may have multiple quantities, uh, but otherwise it's pretty easy. You just scan the barcode. Uh, other ways that you can uh, ring up product, maybe it's uh, too small for a barcode, or um, maybe there's just the barcode got lost. Uh, you can go ahead and type in an item number, and it'll bring up that item if you know the item number for some reason then uh, you could also scan with your barcode gun or type in the full UPC that would be the UPC from the manufacturer uh, quick note there is you do need to program the UPC code into the item when you create it but after that you can ring it up just fine uh, we could also let's see I'm in a clothing boutique you can also search by words so you could do, yeah, let's do that, scarf. Okay, so I type in scarf. I can search through all the scarfs in my list and be like, oh, it's this one. All right, we're going to add it. Uh, that little screen that's popping up, you're seeing that because some of these items are out of stock. I just, you know, choosing them anyway, and you can add them. But uh, if you are out of stock, it's going to run you into the negative. Don't worry about that now. We're just talking about making a sale. So you got all the items you need. Now, uh, number one key thing in your point of sale, if you're really old school, you're not gonna know you're not gonna know this or you're not gonna realize this, you want to get a little invasive and track your customers. Uh, if you can track your customers and get an email from them, it's going to work wonders and miracles in your marketing world because you're gonna be able to send them your newsletter or coupons or sales and it's going to bring them back to your store so do this record your customer get their email address you'll have some people that say no that's fine all of the emails and customer names that you can get so that you can increase your marketing to them and get them back to your store is going to do wonders in your world alright so I can choose a customer here that's great because this person already shopped here in the past or you can go to add new customer and you can get Bob Johnson's name and record his email uh, maybe uh, Bob Johnson is he's doing AOL that's great you can enroll them in your rewards program but otherwise yeah attach them to your receipt then you can also look back in their history when they bring something back and they don't have the receipt you can easily find that receipt under their name so now we got our customer real quick I'm gonna mention also there's a little out of order but quick pick items are an easy way to track things that maybe you just quickly you have a ton of them it could be jewelry or in this case scarves belts uh, jewelry like I said uh, if you don't have tags on them or they're too small or weird to put a price tag on you can put them in quick picks here and then you can easily find them and add them to the receipt by just using your quick pick sub menu here that's a great way to just uh, keep it quick especially if you have 
a touch screen. So quick picks, those are great. Customer name, we cover that. Uh, global discounts and sing, uh, single item discounts. Now, this is easily something that people get messed up on all the time and don't understand. There's two different ways to give a discount on the make a sale screen. If you're just discounting one thing, maybe one thing is on sale or it, maybe it's a little broken but the customer still wants to buy it, choose that item line, hit quantity, price, and discount. There's some quick discounts up here or else you can enter your own discount in here. Maybe you want to go $5 off or maybe you want to go, you know, one of the ones that aren't quick, like 20. There's no 20 up here, so 20% off we could do. And you will notice that it just discounts this line. Okay, so that's great. You can do it that way. I'm going to get rid of that quick so that we can get back to normal. All right, now nothing is discounted. Now the other way to discount is a global discount. Now this is going to discount your entire receipt. Every single line item on the receipt is going to get a discount if you use this button over here. So you can use one of the quick picks again, or you can, uh, maybe you're giving a third off. So we'd say 33% off. <clears throat> I'll click over here on this large ticket here. That's going to be $137. So if I hit close, now you won't see any of the discounts up here. When you use global discount, you'll notice that it's down over here. Where is it? Discount negative 137.94. So that's a global full receipt discount. All right, moving on. That was discounts. Now your customer has to pay you. We've got cash, credit, check, gift, and account currently. So you can enable and disable different types of payment types in your preferences. But today we're working with these. Cash is pretty obvious. Your customer is going to hand you cash. You are going to hand them back a receipt and some change. Do the whole thing with cash. Or I think that that's self-explanatory. Credit. I currently do not have this point of sale hooked up to a payments account. Uh, so since I don't, it's just going to pop up. And this is just going to tell point of sale, this customer is paying with a credit card, but it's not attached to point of sale at all. If you'd like to, you can give us a call at BlackRock Business, and we can certainly get you the best rates on hooking up your payments account for QuickBooks point of sale. I would encourage you to do that. Uh, otherwise, hitting it right now and hitting MasterCard is just going to tell point of sale this was paid for with MasterCard, but point of sale, it's not attached to you. You don't know where it's happening. So we could do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that so we can move on. Check. Now, check is kind of special. Uh, so people will write a check uh, if they still do that, and I see lots of people do that. I also see a lot of stores use the check button for kind of like special payments, like maybe the customer paid with PayPal, or maybe the customer paid with Bitcoin. Who knows? And if that's the case, you can kind of, this is kind of a workaround. You can use check and you can write in the check number PayPal and maybe the PayPal reference number and then save it. And that is a way that you can work with different payment types and it'll still end up in QuickBooks accounting and you'll see a reference to the payment type in the check number field. I'm going to remove that. Now gift, we have gift cards and gift certificates. Real quick rundown. We'll talk about this in a different video, but uh, you can write out and receive gift certificates and that's great um, you know it, a lot of stores do that but point of sale is not going to track like the total outstanding dollar amount on a gift certificate it's it's that's what gift cards is for really to keep track of the amount that the customer still has so the gift certificate system is really like some people keep it on a ledger just to keep track of it or something like that uh, you might have some fraud involved if people start like copying your gift certificates and there will be no way for you to know if uh, if they redeem two of the same because they like duplicated it or something. So be really weary on gift certificates. Uh, most small stores don't have a big problem with that. But if, if you've got a pretty big store and you, you do a lot of gift certificates, you probably need to keep tabs on it. Gift card, however... Uh, is going to work through the same payment system as QuickBooks Payments, if you have that hooked up. And that will track your uh, totals that are left on a gift card. Uh, there is a little surcharge for each time you use a gift card, but then you, you, know, you can give it as a gift card and it'll keep track of the total through the merchant system. Now, on account, this is a way to pay for a whole receipt. 
that flows over to QuickBooks Accounting and shows that this customer owes you. It's kind of like a house tab, uh, house account or tab. Uh, account can also be used when you're doing a return and you can, you can take the clothing back or whatever it is and then the customer suddenly has uh, money available on account and that would be your store owes them money because of their return. That's the quick rundown on making a sale in QuickBooks Point of Sale. I'm glad you came along. I hope you learned a lot and can feel uh, worthy of checking out one of your customers and have a, a feeling inside that you're doing it right and nothing is going to go wrong. So my name is Peter once again with BlackRock Business. You have yourself a great day and I hope you make a lot of sales today.